Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are very privileged to have a little garden, you know, in the bang middle of central London. And this year, we managed to plant a few stuff, not too many. Uh, as you can see at the back of it, we uh, the tomatoes are growing. If I can get there, focus it. Sorry, I'm using a Samsung Note 4 to do my recording. I do not, I yet to invest in a expensive camera. Probably in the future when I, the channel grows bigger, then I can afford to have a, a professional camera. Right. At the, behind the wall is the Lau, one of the most people go, our Bengali people go nuts about Bangladeshi Lau. It's like a big marrow. Literally, they go crazy about it. So it's, nothing has come, but it's full of. leaves and everything going on there. This year we were lucky with the very good crops of pear. Look, look at the size of this pear in our tree. Incredible amount. Look, the, the branches literally are almost to a cracking point. It's just going to break, snap. The weight of the, the pears. It's incredible. Very lucky this year. And this pear tree has been, we planted this pear tree about almost 25 to 30 years ago. So you can imagine, this is a very old pear tree of ours. Well, it's a bit of sunshine, too much light, I don't think you can see it. Anyway, the branches are literally tumbling down. Now let's go down a bit and what we have here is the, how do I explain this? We call them dugi in Bangladeshi or denga. Denga or dugi. It's growing down there. I have a eggplant, aubergine plant there. And I had to get rid of all of my cauliflowers because the caterpillars attacked them. We had a lovely weather recently. Uh, very heat wave, tropical heat wave in London for a couple of days and caterpillars got rid of them and I had to literally chop them down. It's getting silly. Really, really terrible caterpillars. Now, there we are. Now this is what you like to see. Naga chili. Some of these naga chilies there. Uh, starting to fruit. Alright, okay, there we are. Again, another naga chili down there. We have another naga chili here. With naga all over the place. Let's let's go down a bit, see if he is any fruiting. Oh, a lot of uh, flowers and buds. Uh, let's try to focus, see if I can focus. Fantastic, now, there we are. Oh, thankfully I showed you a chili, look at that. There you go, and let's go up a bit. Anything on that plant? Nothing on that plant, okay. Now this is very interesting, look at this my friends. This is my apple tree, a couple of years old. Only how many branches? Two, three, three, and this year, look at this. I'm sure you recognize, this is a gala apple. Beautiful, uh, how many have I got? One, two, three, four. I had more than four, but four left on the branch. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Great stuff. Now let's get a shot at the, as you can see, 
Oh, look at that. This is the, how big the uh, pear tree is. Pear tree is, sorry. And I have to go closer to the tomatoes. I can't get it. Uh, right, okay, let's go a bit more inside so I can show you the beef tomatoes. Uh, let's go through here. Oh, this is ridiculous. Right, look at this. Uh, wow. Here we are. Let's see how big the tomatoes are. Beefy. Right, here we have some what we call like a spinach, but poishag. In Bengali we call them poishag. Poishag means sag, means spinach. Or you know when you go in a restaurant and you order sag, basically it means spinach. And this is the Bangladeshi poishag. Yeah, it literally climbs in a vine type of way, yeah, climbing one. Okay, let's go down here. We have some denga udugi growing in a tub all right here let's come down here i think more of the seedlings we planted here again this is a nice long dubi here all right let's come down here and see what we got right here oh, wow african marigold look, look at the look at that plant it's well almost Good two and a half to two and a half feet long, easily. The stems are two and a half feet probably. Wow, look at that. Look at that beautiful. Look at the color. Those African marigolds. Absolutely brilliant. Beautiful. Color on those, right. At the bottom here, geranium. I love geraniums. And these ones here, these couple of those. I've grown them from cuttings, so there we are, I love cuttings. I do a lot of cuttings on my spare time and do a bit of potting. Here, yeah, some chili, chili plants from seed, just growing. I just bung some chilies and they grew and and they, they're coming along just nicely. And another one, look, another one of the chili plant here. Um, this one is supposed to be what? Pepsicum, green pepper. Nothing's happening. A few buds here. Yeah, flowering buds. Uh, daily, dahlia, dahlia, dahlia. Nothing's happening. Plant growing. Uh, again, we have the African marigold here again. Again, more chilies. We love chilies here in this household. We love, love chilies. Okay, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this bike out of it. Yeah, again, lovely geraniums. I think this one's like a pinkish color. Yeah. There we are, and here we are. It's quite interesting. First time I've actually planted some beans. Here we are, more beans. Ah, whether broad beans or grana beans, I'm not sure which one. Anyway, broad or grana, who cares? They will, they will taste great in a curry or in a budgie. Well, let's go down there a bit. Yeah, see what we got here. Ah, uh, All right, let's get this out of the way. Look. Um, this. What is this? Star Jasmine, right? Eight quid. Asda, who's dying. I, I paid two quid for it. Now take a look, it's flowering. Uh, if you notice a bargain in one of these big supermarkets, grab it. Uh, they, they're really, really worth it because they don't water them. You bring them home, just put some water in, give them tender, loving care, and they'll be fine. Um, Hydrangea. I'm giving a bit of new life to this hydrangea here again. With some marigold, marigold here. Uh, a 
another well this this is damn thing is not flowering nice purple colored dahlia or dahlia right, and what we have here now this is very interesting look see these little plants popping up little branches yeah these are cuttings I took cuttings Fuchsia. This is climbing fuchsia. I look, put a, took a few cuttings of it, planted it, and it's growing absolutely wonderfully. Now let's go on top of this my fuchsia plant. Look, look at this. Beautiful. It's flowering now. So it's great. Oh, I I do love. I love planting and potting and you know so my hobby I love gardening I truly love gardening really really love it look there we are there's the proof of the pudding look my fuchsia cuttings look at that beautiful look at that again beautifully done and again another one lovely Right, and what we have in this corner? In this corner, we have full of tomatoes. Honey maker. No, honey maker. What am I talking about? Money maker. Yeah. And we have beef steak. Yeah, and that's about it. We got this. All these plants are doing is growing. None of them are actually producing any damn fruit. There we are. But it's nice to see my beans are coming along just nice and steady. Wonderful. Look at that. So, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you like it, you know. And. Basically, if you if you if you do have some space, start growing stuff. It's the most relaxing thing you can ever do. Start growing when you start potting and planting. You will really, really love it. And when you see the fruit of your labor, it's absolutely breathtaking. I mean, look at that. Let me go close up to this sunflower. That's all you need to know. Look at the smile on that sunflower. It says it all, isn't it? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Right. So, the next video, hopefully I will show you, I can get some, to show you some naga. Naga chilies on those plants. Hopefully we should have enough naga grow it right and here we are look I got some cuttings uh, god they just I think yeah you need to check these where they're rooted hopefully they have rooted cuttings date here and again uh, geranium cuttings there we are I think I must have cut them over a month ago oh good there we go, it's rotting away. Oh, yeah, a little, there, this is, there we are. That's more fuchsia cuttings. I need to replant them. Wonderful. So, once again, thank you so much. There we are, it's a more of a mixture of geranium. Uh, you know, I love geraniums. And here, Oh, scarlet red uh, French marigolds. That was lovely. Most of them flowered and they're now dying and I can collect the seeds for next year. Or oh, flog on eBay if I want to. Here we go, it's another lovely, lovely sunflower. Absolutely brilliant, breathtaking, you know. Um, the hydrangea is just about to die. I'm gonna chop the head off. So if you get rid of the old dead flowers, they be encouraged to grow more. And we have the 
we have more scarlet red scarlet red marigold down here and oh african orange african marigold here pink color geranium or violet there we are again lovely orangey yellowish color let's have a look yeah african marigold more geraniums and here lastly more cuttings i took cuttings out of my own cuttings here yeah. geraniums they they're growing nicely and with this rhododendron we had uh, for a couple of years now gives lovely flowers when it blossoms beautiful rhododendron excellent thank you so much again watching hopefully you love this video thank you